Look at this carpet of little blue flowers. Kind of lilac. By the way, those things beeping, those are the mold deterrents, but they don't work. You can see over here, I've got one sitting right there, and there's moles dug up the whole area all around it. Just unbelievable. Now, it seems like something laid on that and flattened all those garlic down. Because look at the other ones. They're perky. First two rows are perky. Looks like somebody crawled in there, just laid down on that. So I just put this, can't even see it, this bird netting on here. I don't know if it's strong enough to keep out a deer, but it might deter them. Hey there, Kay here on my homestead. How's everybody doing? I am enjoying this gorgeous, the end of a very gorgeous day. Blue skies, not a streak anywhere. Actually, hardly even a cloud today. It's just amazing. But I've been inside the better part of the day trying to get my taxes done. So I am just out at the end of the day getting a couple of things done, which I'll show you. But I want to get back, I promised to, to do some videos on the native plants around here, the medicinal plants. Look at the disaster that the moles or voles have done. Look at this. This looks like Park Avenue Hotel here. You know, they never did it here until I moved the the wood here and I wonder if that's why there's like a convention under there oh boy and the question is the obvious question is are they all under there messing up my blueberries Look at this. These jonquils or daffodils or buttercups, they grew up through the wood chips. I thought that would just keep that from happening this year. But look at that. Even more are coming. That is so cool. Okay, this is incredible. And this has just happened in the last two or three days. This is my lower garden, and it is covered in hen-bit dead nettle. All of that purple. Oh my goodness. And the electric is on, so I'm gonna, I guess, I guess deer don't eat that because I've got it all over. You know. Oh my goodness. And you can tell the squares that certain things were planted. It filled in the other squares. It's like a patchwork. See? That's a big square. That's a big square. That's a big square. Huh. Wow, 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 wow. One of these days pretty soon, we're gonna have to till. This is probably gonna die back with this freezing weather we're getting. Okay, here's the infamous end where I grew onions and cabbages and it got flooded out with the release of the cistern water, among other hard rains. What a mess. 
and down at the end I've got mustard, I think it's mustard blooming. Uh -huh. They're back. Another big anthill. They seem to be everywhere. Okay, so that, I think that's mustard. Very pretty. Let's see if this electric is on. Yes, it is. Well, I don't have clover, but I've got dead nettle. <laughs> well, it's henbit dead nettle. The purple dead nettle looks different. Oh, I need some help. Real bad. Hopefully soon. Oh my goodness. You'd think that would stop the power having that wire hanging down. Oh well. And look at this. That's another ant hill. This tree looks like it's alive though. It's budding. I think this is the pear. So the pears come out earlier. And this is um, well. I want to say it's um, not sure. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Yes. I can't believe it. Wow. Okay, and the tag has disappeared, so we don't know what it is. Is it a pear? I don't think so. They don't bloom like that, do they? Hmm. And there's another one. Let's go see if the red bud is budding. Oh, by the way, this is blooming. I have to look that up and see what that is. This is my meadow. I had a lot of native plants in it last year, which is why I set it aside. But I'm thinking about weed whacking all that and raking it out and planting butterfly bush and hi BJ. Hi, good to see you. Where you been? Where's Patch? I thought I had a I got a whiff of skunk there. Surely, surely you didn't get into that. Oh, it is! Look, it is! Somebody's burning. And shooting. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Red bud. Thank you. Hi. 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 Where's Patch? Well, that's a little bit of. Oh, there's one other thing we really should go do. Oh my goodness. Look at all that mustard. 
Oh, I can make a mess of greens out of that. More over here. This is what we're this is why we came. I want to see if anything's coming up over here. Okay. All this green over here is just cover crop and weeds. Okay. Look at that plantain. I want to make a lot of balm this year. Okay. Huh. I see. Hmm. The peas did not come up unless I buried them too deep with the mulch. I mean, this is a pea. Yeah, okay. Um. And those are peas. Something tells me I might have to plant more. I haven't because it's just been so cold. And now I'm in shirt, in a shirt with no jacket. All right, in terms of the potatoes, nothing. Nothing coming up. I was concerned about it. I had such such success last year growing potatoes in the mound and this as soon as I got them in here it rained a lot and they were just puddles on top and they could have rotted but I've got more potatoes coming so not to worry okay this is not in the sun now but I did look this up and this is a lilac called Sunday. So let's see what happens when I let this go. I only did this because we had some terrible wind and I didn't want it to break. Might just leave it, you never know. Sunday lilac. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Check the scent. Very faint, actually. What's going on over there? Come on, Spot. Now, see, he's confused because he doesn't know if he can get out. And this is purple dead nettle. Looks a little different. Hi, Spot. What's going on? Just hanging out in the dirt? Huh. All right. About ready to uh, for the sun to go down and that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for joining me for this quick look at how things look on March 15th. I believe that's a turkey I hear up there, a wild turkey. And we've got periwinkle. I think that's periwinkle. Variegated periwinkle. And that was all weed whacked down by accident last year. And uh, it came back. Hi, where's Patch? Hey there. <laughs> uh, 
I love to swing. I've always loved to swing. around all of this. I just learned that the hen bit dead nettle is edible. The flowers, the leaves, and the stems, all edible. Look at that. I can come down here and have a whole feast. And it can be invasive. So clearly it's working towards being invasive here. <laughs> BJ, come on. This is wild pansy. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I'm trying to look at the flower, okay? She said, well, you called me. Come on, let's see if we can, oh, there's Spot. Come on, Spot. Let's go. Patch is just gonna have to come in later. You know how dead nettle got its name? Because it doesn't have the hairs like on nettle that stings you. So they call it dead, but it's in the same family. Tiger! Patch! Dinner! Come on, Tiger! You're walking kind of slow. Are you tired? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come get to her. All right. No detours. Come on. Let's go. How are you going to get through there? See? Oh, okay. 